Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're covering how to add a columned block within Gutenberg or the block editor um, for WordPress. So if you're using native WordPress and their native builder, this, is, this will apply to you. Uh, no add-on plugins necessary. This comes right out of the box when you install WordPress. So let's get started. Uh, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is click the plus option and I'm on a blank brand new page then the easiest pathway is just to actually type in the word column and I don't even have to finish the spelling, how about that? Click on the icon there and then you're met with a few layout options. Some just kind of like typical layouts that people would, would, would choose from. Uh, you can do a 50-50, you can do a one-third, two-third thing, a two-third, one-third thing, a three-column deal, or one-third wide center and one-third, so yeah. That's just to get you started quickly. You don't necessarily have to go that, you can skip it, but let's just go ahead and do a 50-50 for now, a two column structure. And you can see that's uh, kind of the uh, initial way it's laid out. If you don't see the sidebar, by the way, uh, because that's gonna give you some options here, click this little cog icon, or the settings icon as well, and you'll see the column options. Um, you could see here that uh, when I click into an individual column, I'm, I'm given the additional option of choosing the percentage width. So even if you start with 50-50, you can decide to do 20-80. So if you choose 20% on this guy's end, this will automatically auto adjust to 80%, right? To fill in the rest of the 100%. Uh, and you can play with this as much as you want and go as granular as you need to in percentage wise. So 90-10 or 60-40 or whatever. So that's, and you can of course go to the other column and, and adjust it there, but you could see it's set to auto. You can also kind of go back to the original column and hit reset to get them back to 50-50 if you so do choose. And in addition, you can move the little uh, deal here to scale them however you like. Pretty awesome. So those are kind of the individual column options. If we look over here to our block navigation tree, you can actually select the overall kind of table, I guess you can call it. Uh, and then it selects the whole thing here and you're met with this option and this option. So you have the option of choosing how many columns. So we could switch this up if we need to. If we wanna have five, six, up to six columns, uh, but let's just keep it at three. You can also uh, choose the background if you want. Maybe you want an overall background color of red. Pretty cool. You can also choose an overall global color of white because it contrasts well with red, I guess, and kind of move from there. In addition, you also have this option here of changing the vertical alignment of the content that's gonna eventually live in each of these cells. You can choose to have it vertically aligned to the top, middle, or bottom. So that's very handy, uh, just depending on how you wanna lay things out. So that's kind of the, the basic options. Once you start kind of uh, wanting to build the individual columns. You know, you're gonna select a block. As you can see, there's a plus icon. We're gonna select paragraph, and we're gonna say left column. Maybe you want an image in the middle. You can type image. You can go to your media library, and you can grab an image. And it comes with like a little caption. Maybe you want it, maybe you don't. Uh, and then you can kind of just keep going from there. So maybe you want, uh, maybe you want a heading tag. Instead, this is text. Now you notice they're all vertically aligned to the top. As mentioned, come back here to block navigation. This is the easiest way to select your whole column. Click this guy, and then you can choose to vertically align it to the middle. And you can see they all vertically align to the middle, or maybe to the bottom, and they move to the bottom. And there's probably other reasons why this hasn't fully moved to the bottom, but uh, you kind of get the drift here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and unselect this, everything goes to the top. And again, you could play with percentages and these will automatically adjust. So you want this to be 20%, the other guys will kind of just move along with what it thinks will work and just magically kind of you know situate how, how they're needed. Um, so yeah, and just bear in mind, if you, if you like the way something is laid out, you can uh, duplicate it by just, uh, again, this is the easiest way, coming to your tree, clicking columns, hitting this guy and duplicating uh, so you can just quickly create another one. So that's as simple as that. Of course, you can come here and remove it. Or I just removed the column. I didn't remove the whole column.
column table. There you go. Uh, but if you want to keep adding content, just hit keep hitting the plus icon on a given column. Uh, you don't have to, uh, you know, you don't have to keep using that. You can just go here and hit insert after if you can't find the plus icon handy. Just go like this on the block that you're on and hit insert after. Put some more content. Or just hit enter uh, and click the plus icon. Put an image inside if you like into that column. On and on and on. You can go and these can be dragged and dropped if you uh, choose. You want to put that in the middle. You want to put this piece of content here on the, on the right. Etc. Etc. So pretty simple stuff. It's drag and drop. It's a pretty awesome uh, block. One of my favorites. I use it all the time, and I would highly recommend it. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. Uh, hit like if you found this video useful. Uh, put a comment in the comments box uh, if you have any questions or just want to give some some shout outs to uh, you know uh, praising the video. Uh, and uh, all, and if uh, the, the ultimate thing, excuse me, is to uh, subscribe to this channel. Just hit the subscribe option and ring that bell uh, to be notified of future videos uh, having to do with the Catalyst Design channel. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you on the next one.